Hello guys, this is just a quick um, to help a, a friend out uh, easier shown than explained sometimes. My... Right, so this set up the magnetometer. All right, so first of all, we're gonna power up. Because when I wanna make sure that the GPS is rolling and the magnetometer's powered, everything's powered before we connect into iNav. And then we're gonna see over and connect into iNav. I'm sorry if this isn't uh, great lighting and such, it's the best I can do for today. Uh, right now I've connected into iNav. All I wanna show you very quickly is this. One, when you, if you're gonna build something like this and you're gonna do a maiden, Yes, get your GPS connected, make sure it's all good, and then just go through switching it off. All right, your first part is you, you don't want any, any of this connected. There's no point relying on any of the navigation systems if your setup isn't correct in the first place. So, but for this, I've got mine uh, connected. All right, so up here you can see where we've got the magnetometer and the GPS is all there. I know what we're gonna do now is you can go down to the magnetometer down here, and you can look and you can go, oh, I can fiddle about with it down there. But if I were you, I would just go up to the um, setup. And this is when you can test how you've got your setup, right? So what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to turn the craft forward like this. And that thing shouldn't really move maybe one or two degrees. Now I'm on top of a metal table, so mine will be a little bit further out. And of course, the problem is if you do this, let's say you go and put yourself into a return to home and it turns down like this and on the setup, if you can see it starts swinging left or right badly, uh, and I'm gonna show you that right now. Uh, you got a problem, you gotta fly away and that's, how, that's just how that works. So you can come in here and you see board and center alignment mag alignment now you can do it all from this magnetometer tab if you want to but personally i just do it from down here so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to switch mine out mine is cw 270 degrees flip that's when mine's in the correct position so now i'm just going to put it into cw without the flip and this is what i think a friend did on uh, his maiden which caused the uh, the craft just to flip off all right, so now we can see it here. I'll let it just get itself uh, runtime calibrated, yep. Yeah, by the double beep. And now when I start pushing the craft forward like this, you will see, you should see, <laughs> the darn thing going off in a different direction. All right, and depending on how badly that is actually set up, depending how badly that's gonna go off in a different direction. And what can happen as well is that it's um, it's we're going to go back into the configuration and we're just going to change it onto one that just shows it a bit more prominent. So I'm going to go to let's just say uh, 180 now. No, beep 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 beep. This one is rebooting. Calibration check. Beep beep. Yep, we're good. Okay, so now I'm gonna just start tilting it forward again. And as you can see, I'm tilting forward, but look, it's going, it's tilting to the right and a slight off degree. So this is really bad. See, I'm tilting forward. Here we are, let me just, and um, we can see we've got some movement on there anyway, so I'll do it again. I'm tilting forward. Come on, you normally behave a lot worse than this. There you go, look, if I tilt that way, just to show it a bit more. Yeah, well now we do, well now we're 90 degrees out. So what you're gonna make sure is you get this correct. And I'm just gonna go straight back to the configuration. I'm gonna put it in the right place again, which I know for mine, because I've done this many times. This is 203. I must also say, once this beeping's got out of the way. Yep, and a beep beep, come on, beep beep. Okay, I must also say as well, I'm using a glass top but metal frame desk. This is not where you wanna calibrate your, your magnetometer. 
mine I've actually done it in the middle of my room just connected uh, to the laptop and so it's got a better uh, configuration but I would suggest this let me just show you very very quickly I would suggest that um, let me get that out of the way that you were to find your mode to stick functions and you can look down here and you can see calibrate compass so your throttle stick will go top right and your um, your pitch roll stick will go middle bottom I've got no idea what that's all about we'll go <laughs> we'll go middle bottom okay and that means that when you're outside and you're going to be flying outside in that area like what I saw my friend do uh, earlier I would have suggested if he was going to do any of that calibrate again the magnetometer there and in order to do that you want to make sure that every part of this every um, part faces down so that's one face down that's everything's going to face down to ground that's another face down that's another face down that's another face down the top's facing down and the bottom's facing down and in between that you can do as many sort of rolls and bits and pieces and that 30 seconds as you've got but you just want to make sure that everything faces down okay and then if you're not quite happy with the way that's gone uh, you can check on course with your magnetometer how that's working or how it's not working and if you're not quite happy with how that's gone like I'm flipping to the right now and as you can see it's moving but that's because I'm on all this um, I'm on this uh, let me just check my configuration here to make sure that went in and I won't try and do any of this uh, navigation things until yep we're on the right place uh, until I know that this is correct so this to me like this even though I know it's correct and I know it's generally okay um, to me it is still not very good but that's because I'm on this metal table and it doesn't it does not help it whatsoever but if I were outside and I was going to do a navigation hold or a, any type of test and return to home or anything like that I would ensure that this is correct and that would be to do another magnetometer calibration outside once you've got that um, orientation that flip or not flip at whatever degrees is correct but what I would do if I were you I go into configuration I would turn off the uh, magnetometer and just put it to none I would go down into here and turn off the uh, GPS navigation and put that to zero save and reboot that and then we'll even go into the ports right you just got to remember which port you use for the gps to make this nice and simple to switch it back again even go into the ports yeah and we can turn off the gps i'll have to save and reboot that again I wish these were quieter. I don't want to shout over the top. We'll just start distorting. All right. And then if you've got any of your modes and they're already pre-set up for any of the navigation, mine aren't, if they're already pre-set up for any, just undo it. You can always put it back. There's no big problem. So all you want is your arm. Mine's on channel five. Angle, channel six. Horizon on channel six. And of course it defaults when there's nothing chosen into acro. But if I were you, yeah, absolutely correct go for angle mode to start off with all right and then you can figure that out first then you can always turn on the gps again and the magnetometer i hope that helps and um uh, happy flying amigo i'll see you out there soon